So how do we find these, uh, this particular type of lung cancer? So there are several methods uh, that can be used. Um, most traditionally, um, these are done using biopsy materials, and, and the tests are typically referred as uh, molecular or genetic tests. Uh, you may have also heard the term NGS, uh, which is short for Next Generation Sequencing. These uh, all refer to uh, different tests that we use as doctors to look at the genetic uh, makeup or genetic abnormalities of, of the particular tumor. Uh, these can be commercial tests or are tests developed by individual cancer centers. Now, it's becoming more and more common uh, to use blood for molecular testing, uh, which can be very helpful. But, um, but we have to remember that, uh, that blood tests are not perfect. Um, in that they can miss genetic mutations. Um, so if the initial blood test uh, does not show a genetic abnormality, um, if at all possible and safe, I usually recommend my own patients to have a biopsy for testing because we, we want to make sure that, um, that we've tested it. Now, there are other methods. For example, there's a test called FISH uh, that can also be used to find red positive lung cancers. Um, but I would say the most common uh, usage uh, or the most commonly used test is uh, really these NGS uh, tests. Now, test reports can be very confusing. I know based on my own patients that many people like to look at their own reports, um, but they can be quite difficult to understand. Um, so make sure you're asking your oncologist for explanation. Um, I listed some of the examples that you might see. Um, some reports may say red fusion or red rearrangement. Um, that would be the most straightforward way to identify these on the report. Um, but some reports don't say either of these words and they just have a, a second gene uh, next to red. Um, so, um, so it's not uh, very straightforward. Um, now to make things even more confusing, um, some reports may mention the, the word RET, um, but that may not uh, be important because there are these um, things called VUS, uh, which, are, which is short for variants of unknown significance, uh, which can happen, these are abnormalities that happen in the gene RET, but not necessarily uh, important biologically. So I mentioned this because this uh, is this something that you may see on your own uh, report. 